There he is. How you doing? <laughs> My wedding with us. We're going to set it island today. Look at this. This is the first time I'm actually planning on going to Staten Island. Oh. No, don't record this. <laughs> this is what we do in Turkey. Go. Go. I'm gonna. There you go. There you go. What's that? <laughs> this is what we do in Turkey. When you go on a trip, you drop some water so you you may go as easy as water would. We'll be good. Thumbs up. Okay, I gotta work. Bye. Actually, it was your idea to go for a bike trip. Well, I wanted to go for a bike ride, and then you're like, let's go to yeah. Staten Island. I'm like, sure. Yeah. We are walking in the middle of the bike lane, and there is literally no one coming. I guess Staten Island is very quiet. I want Beatrice to tell you the story of how she found jobs once she arrived here. I won the American Green Card, so I had all the documents. I went in an apartment. Uh, it was really hard to rent an apartment. We were coming from nothing, like without anything. So you, you couldn't build a credit score before coming here, basically. Exactly. So yeah. big culture, Hagen Dazs, Shake Shack, Wasabi, Wetzel's pretzels. <laughs> so so look, take look. All the levels up there. Got the city over there. Thanks for showing us this place. Maybe we'll come back later to this place because there is a very nice bathroom and I'll show you the bathroom. Are we ready? Ready. Let's start this Ted and Alan ride. to Snug Harbor. This is like a cultural center or something. Because 
because like if we go we could i don't know just go any one of these ways yeah so we are here this is the entrance and this is the whole park and botanical gardens i think we decided we we're gonna go take a look before continuing on our bike ride around staten island expectations for Staten Island if you had any at all they were very low to be quite honest <laughs> but this garden uh, what is it snug garden or snug snug harbor snug harbor beautiful a little first impressions of Staten Island we've bike literally 10 minutes so this is this is really first impression what do you say weird at first it's getting better Weird at first is getting better. Yeah, I agree. We started right next to the ferry arrival and it was kind of weird. Well, they also have the mall that's being built that's pretty much almost vacant with the exception of Shake Shack. Actually, two and a half years ago, the only time that I came to Staten Island, the mall wasn't there. Because I remember I walked a little bit around and it wasn't there. So it's really super new. But after you pass the mall, there is this part where on the right you have uh, by the water this kind of industrial it's like, area yeah. the houses on the left of the road actually were not very well maintained so not the best not the best impression <laughs> but then we can, but then there are very interesting buildings as well i think oh beautiful churches yeah, we saw two beautiful churches, these strange architectures. And it's a beautiful day to boot. We found perfect weather. So beautiful. Dutch looking homes. Dutch looking homes, you're right. A little bit American too. incredible this neighborhood is the prettiest one <laughs> so beautiful cultural life and the nightlife and stuff you're just 25 minutes ferry from Manhattan it's so crazy we'll give it one thumb up <laughs> only one for now this to me is Staten Island Really? Yeah, we are in front of the zoo, so on, the other, on that side there is the zoo. And here there is this, it's basically the most tidy cemetery I've ever seen in my life. 
Are American cemeteries often like this? Some. This is kind of big, but it's definitely very clean. Yeah, exactly. Very clean. Just what I wanted to say something about cemeteries that I was surprised to see an American cemetery like this because since the American society is an individualistic one, I would expect every grave to be different and customized to the person. Whereas we in Italy or in Europe in general, at least the part of Europe that I know, uh, every grave is different than the others. That's all. This route goes along the whole perimeter of Fishkill Park, which on Google Maps you see it called Fishkill Park. Actually, it's a park that they are building, but until 2001, it was a landfill. Fishkill Landfill started uh, being a landfill in the late 40s, early 50s, and until it was definitely closed in 2001, it's been the biggest landfill in the world. It's made by four big mounds of garbage, 30 to 70 meters high, and it was estimated in the 80s that if they kept the landfill going, the landfill active, these mounds would have reached the height of 500 meters, and they would have been the highest peak in the East Coast. This landfill used to take all the garbage from Manhattan and surroundings and there was there has been even an eco disaster happening in the late 80s when tons of medical waste was reversed on the Jersey Shore and for a whole summer the whole Jersey Shore on the Atlantic coast has to remain closed all the beaches had to remain closed and New York City had to pay one million dollars in damage plus the cleanup but all those small businesses on the Jersey Shore were never repaid for the economical damage of being inactive for the entire season. Now, they stopped using the landfill in the 90s, I think, but then in 2001, it was reopened to gather about one third of the waste from ground zero. Waste from ground zero that included human bodies too. So it, it, it is a very sad story and I think they have a memorial there somewhere also but nowadays they are building a park on top of this landfill it is supposed to be a park with recreational areas with wetlands with all sorts of stuff my doubt is how can they build a park on top of the landfill like wh where does all the garbage go i don't think they took away the garbage from there i think the garbage is still you know, they just covered it with some water-resistant thick material and built, you know, the grass and the park on top of it, which is kind of crazy. It's no, it's definitely crazy. Like garbage is toxic for the soil. It means that they are intoxicating the soil for centuries now. 
I must say, at least I'm glad that they stopped using that place as a landfill and now they are trying to do something better with that area. We, it's lunchtime, so we actually stopped in a place, we sat down, we are having a full dining experience, which is something that I usually don't do, as you know. But today, since I'm in company with someone, I'm gonna treat myself. The only problem is that we are literally in a mall area, like a very big shopping mall area. But I must say, this Italian restaurant where we stopped looks very, very nice. And the waiter was Sicilian, so I was able to speak a little bit of Italian, which, by the way, is becoming more and more difficult kind of creepy for me. They send us some focaccia with rosemary and ricotta with honey for free, just with the water. I'm impressed. Burger with no cheese for Kyle. And I got the focaccia with so much stuff inside just because the waiter is Sicilian and we started talking and he was so nice, he told me oh, you, can, you can change up the ingredients, whatever so this is Joseph how we doing guys? from Staten Island he's lived his entire life here, right? yes that's great so I was asking him about the landfill, the park so what's your opinion about that? personally, I don't think parks should be built on dumps however, to each his own all leftover. As an Italian, this was an Italian restaurant with good food. I'm really impressed. And it's not a chain, which is the thing that I love the most. Great service as well. Great prices. Very cheap. So if you happen to be in the area, go to Angelina's Kitchen. So we were told at the restaurant to come here to this place. It's, it's just a park, it's not on our route, but we made a little detour and it's so beautiful. We just decided to go out of our route because we found this place and it's so beautiful here. Kyle suggested to continue on this path and cut one part of the transportation alternatives route, but I think we're gonna arrive to the same place.
not scared? How can you not be scared of us? Wow. That's incredible. Not joking. It's here. It's crazy. I'm shocked. You probably cannot see, but on the sides of this trail, there are so many little paths that you can go and hike, probably. I don't know where they take to. This place is amazing. Look at this. Incredible. Wow! <laughs> oh my god, I feel like home here! In Staten Island. In Staten Island! <laughs> Who would have ever said? Oh jeez! This, this is a cool little detour. This literally... I'm surprised this wouldn't be on the map. Yeah, me too! American eels that come from here, they go to Sargasso Sea and then they come back. So fascinating in Richmond Creek. How cute this little church is. This is like the fifth that we see or something. It's full here in Staten Island. So cute. We don't have to go up that. It's just that the, the bicycles are prohibited, but up. We are going to that direction, right? Yeah. We're going down. Okay, let's go. Oh, look what we found. This little square space. So cute. Guys, this is exactly what I meant when I was in City Island in the past vlog. And I was looking for like a, a place where people gather where I could take a seat on a bench and rest and have a sandwich. This is exactly what I meant. Like a place like this, you know, this might be the town hall, I think. This is the historical museum of Staten Island. And there are kids playing here. There are people sitting down on the benches and just chatting. This is what I was looking for. So I'm from Jersey and Jersey is the land of strip malls. And this is very Jersey, but it looks like it could be from the 70s. It's so like vintage looking. <laughs> vintage looking. <laughs> no, because like think about it, like back in the day, like having a bunch of hot rod, classic mm -hmm. cars parked, you yeah. know, and people like getting burgers or shakes, mm -hmm. you know, like straight out of like Greece or something. Nice. Very nice. cool. That's an old Pontiac, uh, what the fuck do they call it? So many cool cars in Staten Island, old ones, often very rusty like a Pontiac ones. Pontiac Trans Am, something like that.
Cool. No cars. Big road, no cars, all straight and downhill. <laughs> and with the trees. No, 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 no! Oh. This feels like countryside to me. Finally, this feels like home to me, honestly. Really? Yeah. Ooh, someone is barbecuing. right at the stop Cedar Grove Park Rockaways? Yeah. Like what? Floyd Bennett Field, the, the airfield is over there. Oh, I see it. Wait. Let me get out. Ferris wheel? Like the. That tall, skinny. Or like the uh, swings hang down. Oh, yeah. And then the rest of the curves around. I, I don't know if I'm catching on camera. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, this is like. It's Coney Island, baby. The Rockaways, Floyd Bennett Field. What else are we looking at? Brighton Beach. That's Verrazano Bridge. Yep. But we're going there later. So cool. Look at this place. Oh, and that's part of Jersey. Like uh, Sandy Hook. I want to see what there is on the on this beach. Jesus, there is nothing, nothing and no one. Holy crap! Oh, there is people there. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? We. Fucking we've been living literally there next to this place all this time so wild. we never came here new york so much garbage
little break for us. So I wanted to tell you something about this boardwalk because we are on this boardwalk here along the beach. This boardwalk was built in the 30s, 1930s and it is the fourth longest boardwalk in the world. The problem is that uh, in the 50s they were doing improvements but something happened. The water of the beach started to, to be polluted because of sewage overflows from Manhattan and New Jersey. So this problem continued over decades and decades and it's still going on now nowadays. You didn't know this story. I did not know this story. Yeah, so I read it on Wikipedia yesterday. Basically the boardwalk was completely fine but during the 50s and then in the 60s people started to come here less and less so the boardwalk started to be bad, badly maintained and people started to not go to the beach anymore so basically in the 70s and 80s this boardwalk started to be a place of drug dealers and prostitution this was until the 90s when the mayor of New York City decided to invest some money here to improve the boardwalk and they did the problem is that the water on the beach remains very much polluted very dirty it's considered a very very dirty sea from the 60s the even the lifeguards refused to dive into the water because it was so dirty and that's all i read <laughs> that's wild it is pretty much but the boardwalk is still here and now we're gonna run along it the whole the whole way. You know what? I'm gonna go take a look. Are you staying here? Yeah, I'll watch your bike. Well, there's definitely not many people here. I think I'm gonna walk all the way to the water. She's the one that was taking the swim. Sorry, I didn't feel because I don't feel comfortable just pointing the camera in the face of strangers. <laughs> but I asked her how the water was and she was, she told me it's fine. It's full of algae, but it's clean. And I asked her why there were not so many people. Maybe there is too much wind for the microphone. And she told me that you are not supposed to swim here because there is no lifeguard. The real beach is here where all the umbrellas are because there are lifeguards there. She was super nice. She kept telling me, oh, sweetie, sweetie, be careful, be careful. There are a lot of crazy people around these days, which is true, by the way, with a very strong Russian accent. Such a nice woman. <laughs> actual boardwalk it's up here apparently this is made of wood let's see if we can get up here
they're very fond of fishing here apparently. <laughs> So with this Verrazano Bridge, the New York City Marathon starts in Staten Island at the beginning and goes across. And I want to say that the bridge is probably one of the longest in the U.S. I think the one in San Francisco is longer. Whatever. I'm sure there's like a bridge connoisseur out there somewhere. But anyway, to start a marathon that goes uphill over a bridge, kind of crazy. So mad respect to all our marathon runners out there. Can you say it again? How is it called? The New York City, oh, the Verrazano Bridge? Verrazano. Verrazano. Okay. It's kind, of, it's kind of Italian, but... Kind of Italian? Okay, wait. <laughs> so, for, for every Italian watching, this was the American English pronunciation of Verrazano, which is... Which is what I said, Verrazano. Yeah, Verrazano, okay. <laughs> you, know, you know, for the first months when I was coming to New York City, I thought this was called Verizon Bridge, like from the company, the phone company Verizon. It's not the Verizon Bridge. It's, n it's not, no. It's Verrazzano. This is, this is <laughs> named in honor of the Italian explorator Giovanni da Verrazzano. Correct. Giovanni da Verrazzano was born in the 15th century in Greve in Chianti, which is a beautiful valley in Tuscany, uh, south of Florence. Such a beautiful area. I visited it. I was so lucky to do it. Anyway. Uh, he came from there and he decided to be an explorator so he did a lot of uh, exploration trips in the east coast like the Atlantic coast of America in the 16th century and funny enough he did that just little curiosity he was Italian as I said but he did all his trips on behalf of French sure which is like recurrent history of Italians nowadays we call this phenomenon the escape of brains in Italy, <laughs> la fuga dei cervelli, ah, yeah. which means we have people with brains in Italy, but they all escape abroad because there is more money to be invested abroad <laughs> in research, in engineering, in explorations, in everything. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's funny that Giovanni da Verrazzano is a perfect example of what is still happening nowadays in Italy. This bridge, by the way, was built in the early 60s and it, is, it has been for 20 years the longest suspension bridge in the entire world. So you were right. I was right. Yeah, until the 80s. In the 80s they built a bridge in England, I think, or in Great Britain somewhere, which is longer. Fun fact about the name, uh, they got it wrong. Like for years and years, they called this bridge Ver Verrazzano with one Z, and nobody, how do you say, nobody realized that it was written wrong, the name of Giovanni da Verrazzano. The Verrazzano uh, dash Narrows Bridge. Yeah, the official name nowadays is Verrazzano, Ver mm. Verrazzano Narrows Bridge. But for years and years, because Itali Italian Americans were discriminated, it was simply called Narrows Bridge. And then only in 2016, really? a, student, a college student here in New York City was the first one to suggest that we correct the name of the bridge and put two Z Zs. How do you say Z? How double R, double Z. Two double R's, Z. two Zs. Exactly. So Thank you, nowadays, 2016 nowadays, college student. Finally, nowadays, it's called right. And also, fun fact. Fun fact. Nowadays, everyone calls this Verrazano Bridge, not Narrows Bridge anymore. No, when you said Narrows, I had to fact check that. So, I guess sometimes discrimination can be overcome. We're just calling it the Verrazano. Let's go. Let's go. I 
forgot to mention a small personal fact. This is my favorite bridge in your city. And maybe some of you know that I really, really love big bridges. So this is a big deal. Cannonballs across the Narrows, but literally 20 years later, more accurate guns could destroy a stone fort like this. So it was obsolete before, almost before its last stones were laid. Can you imagine building something like that and you're like, that's ah, not good enough? Sorry. Of course, this stretch of land between Brooklyn and Staten Island is called the Narrows. And another fun fact, riding this bridge one way by car costs $19. gears on the on the bicycle though like he has only one gear and do you say one gear yeah. yeah and i must say Staten Island is pretty hilly we've gone up and down several times it's a workout definitely especially for him we're almost there though we're almost arrived back to the ferry your crotch Kyle yeah, as long as you don't record it it's pretty sore <laughs> mine is on fire and not in a good sense <laughs> trip for who wants to actually come here and make do this right is to use the bathroom here at this mall that is uh, right next to the ferry I'm gonna put you a map unless you want to go in the ferry station I haven't tried the bathroom there I don't know if it's uh, open or not but this one is very very nice and also the mall is very nice there are benches where you can hang out outdoors very nice i recommend it if you want to shop as well i don't know <laughs> and also it has an amazing view which i'm gonna show you in a moment see you have little tables with the chairs benches all over the place these cute chairs as well and this is the view that you get from here Thanks Beatrice for the tip because she brought us here this morning. I know you're gonna ask me where is my helmet. I did bring it. The problem is that we put it temporarily this morning in the backpack and there it stayed the whole day. I swear I forgot. Can we take the, we take the elevator? Stairs. Take the elevator down. Please. Take the stairs and not the elevator. After 
the trip, what would you say? What would you suggest to other cyclists? The architecture is fantastic. The homes are very colonial. Dutch pace. You need a comfier seat for 25 miles. <laughs> the boardwalk area is beautiful. Was it worth coming here? Yeah. 10 out of 10. Island, 7 out of 10. We need more visits. All right. I actually enjoyed very much this trip. Staying Island is full of unexpected little secrets, little gems. I was really surprised, I'm very impressed, and I think that the bike trick is totally worth it. Like, I would suggest it to anyone. Just take the full day for the trip, because honestly, there were so many more things that we saw and that we were impressed of than I showed in the video. There were so many little details that I would have liked to show you, but it was simply impossible, because otherwise we would have never gotten to the destination. Also, it's kind of hard to film while biking and it's time consuming to get out of the bike and take the camera, turn it on and, and so on. But yeah, absolutely loved it. Super fun day, Kyle. Thanks for sticking in with me. It was great. Goodbye, everyone. more things one that it was so fun to go with Kyle and it was so much more fun than going alone I know that I always go alone and I like that but yeah it was more difficult to film because uh, I was also having a conversation in the meantime so I'm gonna see how the videos turned out probably not as good as when I'm alone but it was so much fun second thing thank you to transportation alternatives for making up that route it was amazing it was for the most part out of bike lanes so I would have never been able to you know know where to go without following that route I don't know what we would have done without that one goodbye